you may love your bank, but if I told you you could get 60 times the amount of interest you're currently getting in your savings account, would you be interested? Okay, then let me tell you. You can get 60 times the amount of interest you're currently getting in your savings account. Find out how, next. Greetings friends, I'm Chris. Welcome to this week's video. This week we're going to be covering Marcus by Goldman Sachs. This is one of the famed high yield savings accounts. Now I use Marcus. They're not paying me for this video. It's just something that we use. So I wanted to share it with you. See if it's something that you'd be interested or might work for you. The main reason I love Marcus is the mentioned 60 times higher than normal interest rate. So let's see how this compares to the other banks. Let's check the biggest three banks in the country, which are JP Morgan Chase, Bank of America, and Wells Fargo. The current interest rate today for Marcus is 0.6%. As we can see here, Chase is offering 0.01% for their savings accounts. Bank of America, meanwhile, is also at 0.01%. Wells Fargo is also offering 0.01%. Another reason why I love Marcus is the app. The app for this one is really useful. It's more intuitive and it looks a lot better than some of the other apps that we've seen or banks that we've used. Hi, buddy. We've tried some of the ones that currently even offer higher interest rates, such as CIT Bank or Vio Bank. But for both of those, it actually reminded me of playing Atari in the mid 80s. For you younger viewers, that was one of the first video game systems with really crappy graphics. Another major benefit of Marcus is that they offer free wire transfers. The caveat to this is that you can't just wire transfer to anybody. You can only wire transfer back to your funding account or back to yourself. This means if you've saved up money for a down payment on a house, you won't be able to do a wire transfer to the title company. You would have to actually do the wire transfer back to your funding bank account, and from there you could send it off to the title company. While this might seem like a little bit of a hassle or maybe like a negative benefit, the free wire transfers actually is useful and helpful when you figure that you can get the money back to your normal bank account much faster than if you had to do an EFT or a bank to bank transfer. Those could take several days, depending on the bank. But this way, with the wire transfer, you'll have the money from Marcus back into your funding bank account within a few hours. Marcus credits you the day that you initiate the transfer, so they don't even have the money yet. Let's say today's Friday, and you decide that you want to transfer $500 into your Marcus account. Marcus, even though they don't even have the money yet, it's going to take several days for them to get it with the bank-to-bank -bank transfer, they will still start paying you interest on that $500 today. The other banks we tried didn't do this. It took several days to get the money in and out. If we go to a site such as Bankrate, we can compare interest rates across different banks and across different high yield savings accounts. So where do we find Marcus on this list? Well, we got to scroll down a little bit. Keep scrolling, keep scrolling. And there it is, all right. Currently, it shows the highest is VIO or VIO Bank, however you wanna say it, with 0.83%. I know you might be saying, Chris, why am I not doing the top bank that has the 0.83? What I would say, for me, is that the Marcus product is just so much better and it offers so much more value, especially with the ease of the app, that it makes it worth it. The difference between 0.83 and 0.6%, so between the top bank and Marcus, is only $23 a year in interest if you put in $10,000. So for every $1,000 you put in, it's a $2.30 difference. That's it. I will happily give up the $2.30 interest per $1,000 that I put in for the usefulness, for the easiness, for the look and feel of the app and the different features, as I mentioned, even like the wire transfer back and everything else. Now, this rate did used to be a lot higher. July of 2019, for example, as we can see here, the interest rate was actually 2.25%, but it's been dropping ever since incrementally as the Fed rate has changed. 
What I want you to remember with a high yield savings account is don't keep too much in there. You can watch this video here to see more information on that. If you're using this for an emergency fund, I give you credit. Also, you can see more information on that video here. It's also a great place to park money if you're trying to save but might need to use the money soon. So if you're saving for a house, if you're saving for a wedding, or things of that nature, this might be a great place to do it where again, you're earning 60 times the average interest. Other than that, you'll be better served putting the money somewhere else. Which I covered in this video here. Wink, wink. So what are your opinions? What are your thoughts? What high yield savings accounts do you use? Or do you still keep your savings in a normal bank account and just choose to give up all that free money? Say what? Feel free to leave some comments below and let me know. As always, the only thing I can ask for here, I never ask for your money. If you have any further questions, please buy my $137 million online program or my $300 million coaching program. Just kidding. I'll never charge you for advice. I'm not getting paid to do these videos. I'm doing these literally just to try to help you out. So if you can do me a favor and hit that subscribe button, hit the like button, and maybe share this video with some of your friends, I would sure appreciate it. I thank you in advance. Till next Friday, have an awesome week.